I've got a body in the back part of the school that's been found. The 14 year old's body was found behind Liberty High School on May 11th. Authorities later said he was beaten to death. I love Trey and I miss him every day. And he was a good big brother. Who killed Trey's wicker? Big Josh told me at first he did it. And that's who they need to be looking at. And from the beginning, Trey's stepfather, Joshua Gawker, was a suspect with police. Police charged his 15 year old stepbrother, Joshua Young, with the crime. And because of the brutality, prosecutors will try him as an adult. And did a little Josh tell you that he did it? Yes. And did he tell you what he'd used to do it with? Yes. What? A bat. We, the jury, find the defendant, Joshua Young, not guilty. Accused of killing his stepbrother, not found guilty not guilty by a jury. Sentence. Nearly eight years later, Josh Young tells a very different story. Did I kill Trey Zwicker? Yeah. Our interview with Josh Young comes after he sent a letter to WDRB confessing to a murder that rocked the city and sparked national attention. To understand this story of twisted lies, you have to start with the family tree. Josh Gowker and his son Josh Young are accused of killing 14-year-old Trey Zwicker in May of 2011. Trey's mom was married to Gowker at the time. Gowker confessed to killing his stepson and was sentenced to life in prison. A jury found Josh Young not guilty of Zwicker's murder. Young's confession letter to WDRB launched our months-long investigation into what really happened behind Liberty High School. What's calling from? Josh Young. An inmate at a federal prison. Josh Young wrote the confession letter from behind bars. Although he was acquitted of Zwicker's murder, Young has been in and out of jail for years for drug and gun crimes. The U.S. Marshals and Young's attorney would not allow us to interview him in person at the federal prison in Manchester, Kentucky. So we spoke in a series of phone calls, and Young did not hold back. My first question is, did you murder your stepbrother, Trey Zwicker? Yeah, I killed him, but... Keep it real, I don't consider him my stepbrother. I mean, my dad was just having sex with his mom, but my dad was also having sex with a lot of women. Josh, walk me through that day. What happened? I guess he, he wanted to smoke some weed or something, and I had some weed, and then uh, I took him out behind Liberty. And like, I didn't really plan it, but I, I can't really remember the exact words he said when we was down there smoking, but he got a little, he got smart. And I was young. You know, my brain wasn't fully developed, not, not processed author because there may be a little weed. So I'm not in my right state of mind. And I just had enough, same little smart So before I knew it, I done hit him with the baseball bat. Then once I hit him, I just couldn't stop hitting him. And so that's, 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 something, that's something that I haven't publicly told anybody until now. Do you know how many times you beat him? I lost count. I know when I hit him the first time, he fell flat out. It started shaking and making all kinds of weird little noises. It was freaking me out. You know what I'm saying? So probably like 20. Overkill for real way too many times. What was going through your mind in that moment when you were beating him and then afterwards? I'm like, damn, I mean, you can't cry over spilled milk like they say, so I mean, ain't no taking it back. Why did you do it? For one, I just didn't like him. He had a big mouth with no actions to back it up. But for two, you know, he told on me one night when we got pulled over by the police coming home from a house party. And I had some weed on, I had some weed on me and he, he told on me about that, something petty. Did your dad tell you or prompt you or instruct you to kill Trey? Absolutely not. If anything, he would have instructed me to never do that. Because of double jeopardy, Young can never again be prosecuted for Zwicker's murder. So we asked Young if this confession is all part of a plan. Are you hoping that your dad might be released because of this letter? After a jury found him not guilty of murdering his stepbrother, Josh Young has just confessed. The catch, Young's father admitted to the crime and is in prison for life. So who really killed Trey? 
Are you hoping that your dad might be released because of this letter? I'm not hoping that he might be released because of this letter. I'm hoping that he's released because justice is served and, and he's proven innocent, which is the truth. Josh Galker, murder and life. Josh, to start, did you kill your stepson, Trace Wicker? No. No. I would never hurt him. I would never hurt anything weaker than me. Did your son, Josh Young, tell you that he killed Trey? Yeah. Did he give you any details I about it? I wouldn't let him. To this day, I don't know exactly what happened. Just weeks after the murder, the case takes another twist. Galker triggers an Amber Alert when he runs with Young to Alabama. He says he spent that time coaching his son on what to say if police caught up to them, but didn't want too many details in case he had to take a polygraph. And so when we got down there, I told Josh, I said, listen, if they catch us, just start saying things like, I deserve a mommy too, you know, why can't I have a mommy, you know, Trey's got a mommy and I don't, you know, just start, make it look like you just, it just, you just snap. And police did catch up to them. So in a phone call with detectives, that's the story Josh Galker gives police. Yeah, he asked Trey what time it was, Trey pulled his phone out of his pocket, and then when he put the phone back in there, he hit Trey in the head with it. Well, he said he hit him like 15 times. But then the plan fell apart. I'm sick of the story that I told you. I'm not pleading guilty to this. Why do you think he didn't follow through and say I snapped? I've asked him that. He said that he, he didn't think that it was a situation where he needed to yet. <laughs> he thought if I play crazy, they keep me as a juvenile, which they didn't. They immediately waived me to start getting charged me as an adult. Made it look like we sold him out. And so I didn't know what to do after that. He didn't follow the plan, didn't know what to do, so I just told him I did it. You know, I just want to say, uh, I didn't help anybody kill the train. Okay, there'll be, an op there'll be an opportunity for you to make a speech to the court. Why did you lie about it? Why did you confess? Because my, they tried to give my son a life sentence. I mean, he was 15 years old. He'd get the same punishment as if me or you would have did it, a grown person. I just had to, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't sit by and let him get a life sentence. I just couldn't do it. Did this letter come out of the blue for you? We had been writing, but, and he told me that he, he said, Dad, you know, I'm about to take my mask off. I'm about to, you know, <clears throat> and I, I asked him, you better be sure. You know what I mean? You better be sure. And if you're sitting in here with me, I did this for nothing. He said on May 10th, 2011, I murdered Trey Zwicko. I murdered him alone. It was not planned, it was not a plot, and there was nobody else involved in any kind of way. When you read those words. That brought a tear to my eye, man, because I never thought, I mean, inside I, I always hoped maybe one day he would set the record straight, but he don't owe me that. With this confession letter, how do we know it's not still a part of a plan for you? The only way I know for a fact to prove it is to give me a polygraph and my son a polygraph. Josh, why should anyone believe you guys now? The stories have changed so many times. Until now, we, we haven't came out with the, with the truth. I mean, I'm not here to make anybody believe me. I'm just here to tell the truth. I'm here to try to set the record straight for what I did and what my father didn't do. Everybody now is getting to see the true little boy that walked away from murder. I used to tell him, you got that line because the angel said you're perfect. I've got a body in the back part of the school that's been found. And now he's with the angels. Why did Trey have to die that day? He didn't. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. My child is in a box in a ground. Terry Zwicker is a father living in a nightmare. His 14-year-old son, Trey, was beaten to death. The boy's stepfather and stepbrother were both charged with his murder. We're not talking about a whole lifetime of violence. We're talking about one time that matters to me. Nearly eight years later, it still haunts him. Just wish I could have the truth. Trey's stepdad, Josh Galker, confessed to the crime. He's serving life in prison. Trey's stepbrother, Josh Young, was just 15 years old when he was tried for murder as an adult. We, the jury, find the defendant, Joshua Young, not guilty. How do you feel about the verdict? <laughs> 
But this jailhouse letter from Josh Young to WDRB tells a different story. He's now in federal prison on drug and gun charges not connected to Zwicker's murder. Obviously, me, my search is, is for the truth. And that, that letter does have some truth into it. Could this be the key to unlocking what really happened that dark spring night? Or is it a ploy by another son to save his own father? No, no there's no plan, no, no conspiring, none of that. It's the truth. For once, for once, for finally it's the truth, point blank period. In his confession letter, Young says he alone killed Trey Zwicker, beating him dozens of times with a bat and leaving his body in a ditch. The foundation of Young's confession, his father, Josh Gauker, had nothing to do with Trey's death. But that's not how detectives saw it. And I hit him. In 2012, a year after Zwicker was killed, Gauker was charged with murder. We do have some additional witnesses that have come forward. Given us information, the fact that he was involved in the planning of the, uh, the murder. Josh Young was already behind bars for the crime, but his father pleads guilty, which means no witnesses, no testimony, no evidence, just a judge's ruling, life in prison. Whose idea was it for you to plead guilty today? Mine. I just snapped. And I, I hit him, he went down. I stepped on his hand, pulled the bar. He still had the bar in his hand. I hit him before I knew it, it was over. But Gauker's phone calls from a jail a year after the murder raise another question. Why was he really confessing? So look, man, bottom line is, I'm just gonna take this one on the chin and Josh better not leave me. I've lied about this whole in 2013, thing. Gauker, already found guilty and locked up for life, was called to testify during Senate Young's trial. Yeah. But when pressed yeah. on details about the murder. You're sadistic, man, you wanna hear it? Tell us what you remember. If you did this, it shouldn't be so hard. It's not hard. Tell us what you remember. I mean, just being covered. Trey. Gauker now claims that his sworn testimony, given under oath, was all a lie. What really happened that day that Trey was murdered? I don't know everything that happened. All I know is what's in the discovery and a few things that Josh told me. So did your son, Josh Young, tell you that he killed Trey? Yeah. Gauker already tried once to claim his innocence. In 2014, he asked a judge to vacate his conviction, saying his attorneys were ineffective. My attorney knew what I was doing knew that I was gonna come in here and lie. That request was denied. Now, years later, Gauker is sticking to it, still claiming he concocted his bare bones confession to save his son. It was set out, it was planned. They planned it together. And I believed in my evidence. I believed he was guilty. I know the one truth that's in there. He did it. Josh Gauker and Josh Young, a father-son duo that Louisville won't soon forget. Gauker admitted several times to murdering his stepson, Trey Zwicker. Now Young is telling a different story, confessing to killing Trey alone. But is it the truth? What proof or evidence do you have that would confirm what you're saying and that it was only you and your dad wasn't involved? Now, looking back on it, I wish it maybe I had buried the murder weapon somewhere, but like I said, it wasn't planned. And about that murder weapon, along with the story, it's changed over time, too. During Young's trial, the medical examiner testified that Trey died of a traumatic brain injury with at least five blows to his head, neck, and back. This can be done by someone using a rod or rod-like structure. Gauker says his son told him he used a Louisville Slugger baseball bat to kill Zwicker, but when Gauker testified... And then during the uh, trial, they said that it couldn't have been a bat, that it was a pipe. So I just told him I did it with a pipe. The murder weapon was never found. Young claims he tossed it in a dumpster at a nearby apartment complex. Another stroke of good luck. Except it just so happened that that video camera pointing to that dumpster happened to be down for maintenance that week. So really, I just got lucky in so many ways. Witness after witness testified at Young's trial saying the teenager was the guilty one. 
gassed him what time it was, and then they hit him with the bat. Pissed him. I beat the hell out of him. And I looked at little Josh and I said, you killed Trey? And he said, yeah. I believe Young did exactly what he said he did, except he wasn't alone. Uh, they were both there. Trey Zwicker's father has his own theory of what happened that night and why. Gowker definitely hit my child that night and he knocked him unconscious and that's definitely in the findings and left young down there to finish the job obviously to earn his ranks in the so-called gang that they are affiliated with. Either he taught his son how to murder someone or he brought his innocent son into this just to deflect attention from himself. Could the confession letter actually give Gowker a chance at freedom? Elizabeth Jones Brown with the Commonwealth Attorney's Office was the prosecutor over this case. We shared Josh Young's confession letter with her. Okay. <clears throat> so reading that, what's going through your mind? Oh, it's. I mean, I, I've always believed he was involved, um, guilty of the murder. That's why we charged him with the murder. Uh, but we also have always believed Galker was involved, and that's why he was charged. Is there any possibility that this scheme could work? They can file whatever motions that they're going to file. I can't stop them from filing things. I mean, we can't do anything about Young, obviously, because of the principle of double jeopardy. We, the jury, find the defendant, Joshua Young, not guilty under instruction number one. He's untouchable at this point, no matter what he says. We cannot re-prosecute him for the murder. And it's not a situation where he testified, so therefore there's no perjury to go after. Would there be any anything that either one of them could say or prove or point to that would be an aha moment or to solidify this is what really happened, this is the truth? The stories out of the mouths of Josh Galker and Josh Young at this point, I don't, I'm not going to put any stock in anything they say. Do you have any remorse or regret for what happened to Trey? I regret the whole thing. It should never happen. If I could trade places, I would. I would. But by the time I found out, well, it was too late. There was only one person left to save. God is the final judge, and he's going to burn in hell. He's always been bad. There's nothing good in him. Are you hoping that your dad might be released because of this letter? I'm not hoping that he might be released because of this letter. I'm hoping that he's released because justice is served and, and he's proven innocent, which is the truth. Josh, do you have any remorse for what you did? I haven't lied to you since we started this conversation, so I'm not going to begin to lie to you now, no. But did he deserve it? Probably not. What do you have to say to to this Wicker family? I meant wrong place, wrong time. He's such a great kid, and we're just so thankful. This is all about him, and uh, he's had such a hard life. But for a grieving father, this isn't about Josh Young. It's all about Trey Zwicker. As a father, you know, you know, you you protect your family. So you, for me, it's a failure that I didn't protect my family. I didn't protect my child. My child is gone. They are in jail, but are they really getting punished like I am? I'm, I'm taking a hell of a beating out here on a day-to-day -day basis. And and getting no further than the day that I looked down in that ditch and realized that that was my son laying there. Trying to move on with your life, but then trying to find the truth as well, it's just, it's, it's vicious. Young is scheduled to get out of prison in September. Both men say they'd like to take lie detector tests, but there are no plans for that right now. And even if they did, polygraph tests cannot be used in court. Katrina Helmer, WDRB News.